I'm going to show you several ways of fixing uh, your Wi-Fi problems. These ways can also fix the LAN fixed connection internet problems also. So let me show you uh, these uh, solutions one by one. So the first solution is and which is the obvious uh, solution also is just go to your internet icon and you can see when I hover over uh, my internet icon here it says not connected so I'm going to just right click on my internet icon and you will see the troubleshoot problems option here so just click on troubleshoot problems here and your Windows 10 is going to detect the problem with your uh, internet so your Windows 10 will find the problem related to your Wi-Fi or internet and through this troubleshooting it's going to show you the problems so you can see the problem in my case is the ethernet adapter is disabled so to fix this problem you just need to click on try these repairs as administrator so just click on this option and then it's going to uh, just solve this problem for you and after some time this problem will be resolved by itself so you can see this window so now the problem which was found it was this one and the status for this problem is now fixed so once uh, you see fixed here just try your internet again and if it works then it's very good but if it doesn't work then we move to the second solution so for the second solution it's uh, more or less the same kind of uh, solution so for that you can uh, just go to the start menu here so just click on your windows start menu and then click on the settings option and then go to updates and securities so most of the time when you have updated your windows operating system and uh, some update has failed for one or other reasons then the internet problem can also uh, occur so once this window opens you just need to go to the troubleshoot option and once you go to the troubleshoot option under get up and running uh, section you will be able to see uh, this option which says internet connections and i'm going to just click on this uh, option and then click on run the troubleshooter so here just click on run the troubleshooter once again and once you click on this option you will be able to see uh, it says detecting the problem and then it's going to show you this kind of uh, solution for your problem so you can just click on troubleshoot my connection to internet and it's going to find the problem and you can see the problem is found the ethernet adapter is disabled so to fix this problem once again you can just click on try these repairs as administrator and your problem will be fixed okay so this is the second solution which is more or less the same but uh, the destination is different here right so if it fixes your problem then it's okay otherwise we will move to the next solution so for the next solution what you need to do is you just need to right click on your windows icon here so right click not left click so right click on your windows icon and then click on device manager and once you click on the device manager it's going to open this kind of uh, uh, interface here so just search for the network adopters here okay so search for the network adopters and then go to the one which says intel or whatever is the name of your network adopter in my case it's uh, intel desktop adopter so i'm going to just right click on this uh, network adopter and then i can go to the property and once you go to the properties if uh, the status is disabled you can just click on the enable device it's going to enable uh, this adopter so i'm going to just click on enable and then uh, click on next and then click on finish which is going to uh, enable this driver if it's disabled and then you can go to the advanced section so at this point just check your internet sometimes you might need to restart your windows operating system after enabling this adopter so try to restart your windows operating system and test again if your internet is working and if it's not working then go to the same uh, destination and then 
just open the properties once again for your network adopter and go to the advanced setting you can see its uh, value is enabled and then go to the driver section here okay so once you are in this driver section sometimes your uh, network adopter driver can become older so you can uh, update your driver and this might also help to uh, resolve your network or internet related problems so i'm going to just click on update driver and then you can see search automatically for update driver software browse my computer for driver software so search automatically for update uh, driver software is going to search uh, automatically for your driver on internet so if you are uh, facing uh, the problems uh, related to wi-fi then try to connect your laptop or PC via LAN cable and then try this uh, option so you can just uh, click on search online for drivers as I said you need to be connected to internet for uh, this kind of solution so if you are facing uh, the uh, Wi-Fi problem then just connect your uh, PC or laptop with the LAN cable or if you are facing the LAN cable uh, related problems then try to connect your internet via Wi-Fi and then try this troubleshooting so you can see at this point the best driver for your device are already installed okay so if your driver are uh, older then it's going to search for the newest driver and this might uh, solve your problem also also one more solution can be just right clicking your uh, uh, adopter here and then click on uninstall device so i'm going to just click on uninstall device and then uh, click on uninstall and when you click on uninstall it's going to just uninstall this driver and when you restart your windows 10 operating system once again this driver will be automatically installed after the uh, restart of your windows 10 operating system so you don't need to worry about that you are going to lose this driver when you just uh, restart your windows 10 operating system uh, this is going to be uh, installed and this might also help in solving your uh, internet and wi-fi problems so try to uh, uninstall this and restart your windows 10 operating system and see if your problem is solved and if your problem is solved then it's okay otherwise we can move to the next solution so for this next solution what you need to do is you need to once again click your windows icon here and then go to the settings and then go to network and internet section and you can see it's not connected so you just need to go at the bottom so just scroll down under status and you will see this network reset option so just click on the network reset so straight away on this network reset window you will see reset now and it's important to read this message this will remove then reinstall all network adopters and set other networking component back to their original setting so you might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as vpn client and uh, software for virtual switches so uh, if you don't have vpn then you don't need to uh, worry about the vpn and uh, if you don't have the virtual uh, switches then also you don't need to worry about them so just click on reset now and then click on yes which is going to reset your network and now i can see this message which says you're about to be signed out windows will shut down in five minutes shutdown will start on this date okay so i need to wait for some time for uh, this to happen so i will wait for some time until uh, my uh, windows will be signed out automatically so at this point you can close this window also you can reboot your windows operating system manually if you don't want to wait for five minutes uh, which is set by this network reset uh, window so now I, I can see just two minutes are remaining and now i can see that my windows operating system is restarting automatically and once I'm logged into my Windows operating system, my network adopters will be reset. 
So once again, uh, try to uh, connect to internet after this solution. And if your problem is solved, then it's okay. Otherwise, we will move to the next solution. So for our next solution, what we uh, are going to do is we are going to go to our search bar here and search for uh, power and sleep settings. So just search for power and sleep settings. And the first result here you will see is power and sleep settings. So just click on the power and sleep settings uh, window, which is going to open this kind of uh, uh, window here. Here you need to uh, go to the additional power settings. So just click on additional power settings. And then here, just click on the change plan settings. So click on change plan settings and then go to change advanced power settings. And then you just need to go to wireless adopter settings and then just expand power saving mode. So here on battery and on plugged in, make sure that both options are for the maximum performance. So just select uh, maximum performance for on battery and plugged in options, okay? So both I have set to maximum performance and then click on apply and then click on OK and then test your uh, uh, internet once again. You might have to restart your PC after doing those settings. So just restart your Windows 10 operating system and then try the internet once again and see if this problem is solved or not. Otherwise, if it doesn't solve your problem, then just click on restore plan default which is going to restore all the defaults and then you can always click on ok and close this window now for the next solution what you can do is you can disable any antivirus or any software uh, which is related to antivirus or dns uh, you just need to disable uh, that software and then try your internet and see if it works or not Otherwise, uh, the other option is to start your PC in safe mode. So uh, what it's going to do is when you start your PC in safe mode, it's going to uh, disable all the external stuff and it's going to just start your PC with the bare minimum uh, uh, things. And then it's going to uh, show you if your internet is working without your antivirus and other things. So let's see how we can do that. So for that, what you need to do is you just need to click on your start uh, button here and then press your shift key. So just press the shift key and then click on power button and then click on restart. Otherwise, what you can do is the same thing you can start by just going to your uh, settings when you click on uh, your windows icon go to the settings and once this setting window opens just go to update and security and then go to recovery here and then click on this option which is under advanced startup so i'm going to just click on this uh, uh, restart now button which is going to open this kind of recovery uh, uh, window on your windows 10 operating system so here just go to troubleshoot and then go to the advanced options and then in those settings just go to startup settings and then just click on restart okay so just click on restart here and now on the next window you will be able to see uh, this menu so what we need to do is we need to enable the safe mode with networking right so i'm going to just press 5 which is going to just uh, start your Windows operating system in safe mode with networking. And once you are in the safe mode, just open your browser and uh, then uh, just try to browse the internet and you will be able to see that internet is working or internet is not working. So if the internet is working, that means that some external software is uh, blocking your internet for example, it can be your antivirus uh, program or any other uh, DNS or network related software which you have installed externally. So try to disable those software when you go to the normal mode once again. So if you don't know how to go to the normal mode, you can just, uh, just restart your PC uh, from here 
and you will uh, once again go to the normal mode so if your problem is not fixed then we will move to the next solution and for the next solution we will go to the search bar and search for uh, services here and then click on the first result which says services and once this services window opens you need to go to the network services so just search for the network services and make sure if some network related service is not running just uh, just run it if your internet is not working so i can see uh, network connections so i'm going to just right click here and then either i can start it from here or i can go to the properties and then start it manually from here so i'm going to just click on start which is going to start this uh, service and then click ok and then check uh, if the internet is working after starting the services which are not running just try to uh, restart your windows 10 operating system and try to uh, see if your internet is working or not okay so try to start the network related services and see if your internet is working or not and this is going to also fix your problem other than network services you might also want to go to the wlan related services so just scroll down for that and you will be able to see a wi-fi a direct service connection manager and other services related to wlan so this wi-fi related service also uh, can help you to uh, debug your internet problem so just go to the properties and if it's not start just click on the start button so i can see uh, this wi-fi direct service here which was not enabled and then when i scroll down i can see this wired auto config and wlan auto config so you might also want to just uh, start it manually by just clicking on the property and then click on start which is going to start this uh, service and then try to restart your pc first check your internet if it's working then it's okay otherwise just try to restart it and then try to uh, see if your internet is working sometimes the restart will uh, just uh, sh make sure that all the settings are done properly now for the next solution what we are going to do is we are going to flush our dns and reset the tcp ip uh, connection via command line so all these commands i'm going to give you in the description of this video so you need to just uh, copy uh, these commands one by one and then open your command prompt so just search for cmd in the search area and then you can just right click and then run as administrator so just click on run as administrator which is going to uh, start your uh, terminal let me just make the font little bit bigger so you will be able to see it in a better way so i'm going to just make it uh, 28 and now you will be able to see this uh, command once again so the first command is net sh space winsock reset press enter and once you see successfully reset the winsock catalog and it also says you must restart the computer in order to complete this uh, reset so just restart your computer at this point and if uh, your internet problem is solved then it's okay otherwise we will go to the next command which is uh, net sh int ip reset so just uh, give this command so let's give the next command which is net sh space int space ip space reset and it's going to reset uh, all uh, those things again you can see restart the computer to complete this action so just restart your computer and check if the internet is working otherwise you can uh, give those three commands which are uh, uh, shown here once again let's give the next command here so i'm going to just give uh, this command which is ip config forward slash release and you can see uh, this kind of output here again we are going to give the next command which is ipconfig renew and then we are going to give the next command once this command is successful uh, we are going to give the next command which is ipconfig flush dns which is going to flush uh, the dns so just give ipconfig flush dns 
and you will be able to see uh, this uh, message which says successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. So at this point, uh, once again, try to restart your PC and then see if your internet connection is uh, fixed or not. Now let me show you the last solution which I have and this might be due to some hardware. Uh, so there might be a situation where your uh, Wi-Fi is not enabled uh, via the hardware and you can enable your Wi-Fi on your laptop. Different manufacturers have different options for enabling this uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, for example, this keyboard which I have, you have to press function and then press F3. You can see this Wi-Fi icon here in order to enable the Wi-Fi, right? So search for uh, this option on your keyboard and try to enable the Wi-Fi on your Windows operating system and then see if the problem is solved or not. So these are some of the ways using which you can debug, troubleshoot and fix your Wi-Fi and internet related problems on your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.